Welcome back to my channel. It's Rochelle. This is my review of Married to Medicine Season 9, Episode 4. So the episode begins where they left off in the previous episode. They're still at Dr. Contessa's house. And Dr. Heavenly is upset. She's outside. And Dr. Jackie goes to speak with her. And Heavenly expresses that you know, what happened, the ambush was unacceptable. But so are your videos, Dr. Heavenly. I'm sorry. They're unaccept they're unacceptable. She felt really hurt, not so much from um Toya and Dr. Simone, but she said Dr. Contessa was her friend. But Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly, if you can see it that way, then you can see it from Dr. Contessa's point of view as well. And so later on in the episode, she's speaking with her husband, Dr. Damon, and he's telling her that, you know, she told him what happened because she didn't tell him the night that it happened. She said she usually she usually tries to keep him out of, you know, what's going on with the ladies. So, Dr. Damon basically tells her that she has to think about what she says and that what she thinks may not be hurtful, may be hurtful to somebody else. And what she says, she can't take it back. So, she should be cognizant, and I'm just paraphrasing, she should be cognizant and what she's saying about people. Now, she was crying, so I think she really is hurt about the ambush. But I don't know if she'll change her ways or her behavior. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. I guess we'll we'll have to see. But if she can see how she's really hurt, I don't see how she can see that Dr. Contessa and all the other ladies are hurt as well. Besides Dr. Jackie. Because Dr. Jackie, after she finishes talking to Dr. Heavenly, she goes back in and she talks to Dr. Contessa. And Dr. Contessa is in her room and she's extremely upset. She's extremely upset with Dr. Heavenly. And Dr. Contessa asks uh, Dr. Jackie, you know, she says stuff about says things about your husband that doesn't upset you. And Dr. Jackie says what she says about Curtis doesn't upset her. And then Dr. Contessa said, well, what she says about my husband that upsets me. And I think they're both well within their right for not being upset and being upset. You can't take that away from either one of them. If Dr. Jackie says says it doesn't bother her then it doesn't bother her. But if Dr. Contessa says that it bothers her, then it bo- it bothers her. And then Dr. Jackie says two wrongs really don't make a right. Well, that day, the ambush day, I'm sorry, I made a right that day in my mind because Dr. Heavenly has been out of pocket with them for a long time. And she keeps doing it over and over and over again. And it's not just specifically to Dr. Contessa. She has really talked about all of the ladies on the cast. Dr. Simone doesn't appreciate it. Dr. Contessa doesn't appreciate it. Toya doesn't appreciate it. I don't know how Neela feels about it. I guess because she's good friends with um, Dr. Heavenly. She, She really doesn't say how she feels about it. And then Quad doesn't appreciate it. So I think, you know... Dr. Heavenly needs to reevaluate everything and maybe look at it from somebody else's perspective. And which is Dr. Damon's perspective, because that's the only person I feel like she's going to listen to. The only one. I think his perspective is the only perspective that she'll listen to. None of her friends (laughs) perspective matters to her. Toya also meets with Dr. Contessa and, you know, she says that, her and Dr. Eugene are really in a vulnerable place right now. And while she was watching the while Dr. Heavenly was watching the video, she was laughing about it. I thought that was so hurtful. She did not seem remorseful or anything. 
I guess she says she she means what she says, but just because you mean what you say doesn't mean that it's not hurtful. And you work with these ladies. You're on the show with these ladies. So it kind of can make everything uncomfortable. And it can also backfire on Dr. Heavenly. I don't think she realizes that. You know, it's all fun and games now because it's not happening to you. But when it does, I don't think Dr. Heavenly, and, and if it does, I don't think Dr. Heavenly will find it funny. So Dr. Heavenly meets up with Anila. And she states that Toya is having real problems in her marriage with her finances. So if you know that, why are you going to make fun of the lady? Even if you feel like Toya overspends, Dr. Eugene, Dr. Eugene overspends, it's not anything to make light of and, and make fun of. Because they are really, really probably in a a financial bind. And yes, it's probably because they live above their means but it's still nothing to be it's not funny it's not funny it's hurtful it's hurtful she also said that this what she said that quad said that a group of her friends said that dr eugene said in front of a whole group of people that toya was the worst mistake he has ever made in his life. And I said, oh my, how much more low can Dr. Heavenly get? Now that is extremely hurtful. Even if he did say it, for Dr. Heavenly to repeat that is extremely hurtful. And if Toya wants to be upset about that, she is well within her right for being upset about that because it didn't come from Dr. Heavenly didn't hear it. She's saying Quad said that a group of her friends said. So even Quad didn't even hear it. So basically this is all hearsay. And then to repeat it is not nice. She did not like when Mariah said that she had receipts on Dr. Damon. Dr. Heavenly changed into a different person. She did not appreciate that. And she called Mariah a liar. So Dr. Heavenly knows what it feels like for somebody to speak on things that they don't know. They don't have any idea about. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Dr. Heavenly. But in my eyes, it's not. She's she's being very, very, very hurtful. That's the that's best I can put it. It's very hurtful. She also says that Quad, she heard that Quad was sleeping with married men. <laughs> that is also hurtful. Dr. Heavenly, she is really going for like the jugular. I don't know what's going on with her, but for her to be a married woman and to repeat things like this, I don't understand it. I don't know if the show is putting her up to it, but she specifically told Anila. Anila asked her who it was, and they, of, of course, they bleeped out the name, but it sounded like Dr. Heavenly knows exactly who the people are or who the person is. And so... She ends up talking to Quad at Dr. Simone's and Cecil's uh, Halloween party. And Quad tells her, I mean, she pulls her to the side and apologizes to her. And she says to Quad, you know, I do apologize for saying what I said about you sleep with married men. Quad actually accepts. But she does let Dr. Heavenly know that the next time... Something comes out of her mouth that's that low about her and disrespectful about her. She's going to forego the the friendship, which is which I think is a good idea. I don't think that's a friend that will speak about something like that. And I don't think that at this point, 
quad nose that Dr. Heavenly told Anila that she heard that she was sleeping with married men and gave a name specifically that they bleeped out. So we'll see, I guess, at the reunion, because I don't think Quad knew at that moment, you know, that Dr. Heavenly said that. So Neela is having trouble adapting to Miss Gomez not being there. You know, her son was having a meltdown and um, she calls her mom and asks her mom how she did it. And her mom t- tells her, you know, she's very strong. She'll get through it. You know, but then she, t- she tells her mom, well, I, she doesn't think that she can be as strong as her mom. Because when her mom was raising her and her siblings as a child, that's all her mom did. But with her, she, she you know, she wants more out of life than just raising her kids. She wants to be a blogger, among other things. She didn't specify, but she doesn't just want to be a housewife. But all in all, I think she'll figure it out because she has no other choice but to figure it out. Ms. Gomez has gone back to her family. So I don't know if she's going to hire another nanny. Um, you know, I know that it's probably tough because you got to get used to somebody being around your kids that you feel comfortable with and that you trust. So it, it may be a little difficult for her right now because uh, Ms. Gomez has been with them for five years. But she's, I believe she'll get through it. She's going to have to roll with the punches. It's, she has no other choice but to, to, but to manage everything right now until she finds somebody else to help her. So I don't think that her mom probably lives maybe in Atlanta. She probably lives in another state. I don't know. Because if she did, I think she would come and help out more. But her mom doesn't live there, so she's going to have to figure it out. So Dr. Simone and Cecil, they're having a Halloween party. And it's the last it's the last party. The last party that they had was in 2014. And that was uh, Toya and Dr. Eugene's party. So they're having a party. You know, everybody comes in their costumes. And then Dr. Karen and Anila shows up in a U-Haul. And they are movers. And so Quad calls out Toya and Dr. Eugene and tells them to come outside. Toya is laughing about it, but Dr. Eugene is, you can tell that he's offended by it. And Toya, you know, after everything smooths over, Toya pulls Anita to the side and said, it's okay if me and you joke about, you know, things, but when you, when my husband is upset about it, then it becomes a problem. And Dr. Karen, he doesn't see what the issue is. And Dr. Eugene, I think what it is, is he is doing his very best to try to maintain his lifestyle. He's trying to maintain, you know, taking care of his family. And I think he is in over his head. And so... He takes offense to Dr. Karen making fun, making light of the situation that he's literally going to. They move practically every season. I don't know why they move. I can only speculate, but they move every season and it has taken a toll on him. And you can tell He's the one, and I'm not saying Toya is not bringing any income into the household because she obviously works on the show, so she is contributing. But he is out there at the hospital working with patients in an ER. That's nonstop. He works long hours, day in, day out. He picks up double and triple shifts sometimes. He is tired. I feel bad for him. He is tired. So to make a joke about it and to make light of it and being a doctor as well, I can see how Dr. Eugene could take offense to it. So he gets upset with Dr. Karen and Dr. Karen doesn't seem to understand, you know, the issue. I thought the, the, the costume was tacky. I thought the costume was not funny. 
it was it was not funny to me. It was very tacky and I don't think it's their place to make fun of their real life financial situation. I don't think it's funny to make fun of that. And so um, later on in the episode, the guys meet up at Bad Axe and then they're talking about the situation again. Dr. Karen, he apologizes, but then he said it's still funny. So he doesn't get it. He really doesn't get it. And Dr. Eugene is very upset about it. That's where the episode ends. I don't know how they're going to move past it, but I don't see how Dr. Karen can't see how offensive and how, yeah, how offensive it is to make fun of Dr. Eugene's situation. Man to man. He's, they're both like living the same, you know, lifestyle. Toya, neither Toya nor Anila works. I mean, well, Anila does blog, so she, she does do other things, but they're pretty much housewives. And so, Dr. Karen and Dr. Eugene's are the doctors and they go out and work. So I don't see how he can't understand, you know, where Dr. Eugene is coming from. So hopefully, you know, they'll settle the situation. But I really believe that Dr. Karen really thinks it's funny. And he thinks it's a joke. And it's probably based on with what Anila tells him. But hopefully he lets up off of Dr. Eugene because it looks like Dr. Eugene is really, really stressed. He just doesn't look like himself. He looks like he's going through a lot this season. And I don't think he wants to tell Toya, you know, that he's, even though he did tell Toya he was burnt out, I don't think he wants to disappoint Toya or tell her no. I think that's what the issue is, but he's going to have to. He's going to end up having health issues if he doesn't put his foot down. And I'm not I'm not going to give Toya all of that because if Dr. Eugene doesn't want to move or he, you know, wants to do different things, he should stand up to Toya. But that's their marriage. You know, I don't want, I don't like speaking on people's marriage, but a lot of people are giving Toya a lot of flack and saying that she is the one that's causing Dr. Eugene to have issues as far as you know being burnt out working a lot because of the life the lifestyle she wants to maintain but at the same time Dr. Eugene has to know when enough is enough and when he cannot go anymore and it's not like they're living in poverty you know living in a one bedroom apartment mostly all the houses that they move into are nice homes so it's not like if he tells Toya, no, we cannot move, she could be upset, but it's not like she's going to be living in the hood or somewhere. You know, she's still going to be living in a nice neighborhood. So I think they need to talk and he needs to have the tough conversation with Toya, if that's the issue. Maybe that's not the issue, but from the looks of it, it looks like he is tired of working all these shifts and it looks like he doesn't have time to have a break. He doesn't have time to maybe do things that he wants to do because he's always working, 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 working. So hopefully, you know, they figure things out. I wish them the best. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. So if you like this review, comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next review.